Welcome to another episode of PowerShell Points, short thoughts from the weekly tour portion. This week's PowerShell Point comes from Vietzi, which is Hebrew for Andy left, and it goes from Genesis 28.10 to Genesis 32.2. This PowerShell begins with the story of Jacob settling at Bethel, where he fell asleep and had a supernatural encounter with Yahweh in his dreams. It also tells the story of Jacob working for Laban and marrying Rachel and Leah. Then we learn about the birth of Jacob's children and Jacob prospering at Laban's expense. The power shot concludes with the story of Jacob and his family fleeing from Laban. There's a lot we can talk about in this tour portion. Today, we're just going to present a thought about God meeting us where we're at. If there's anything we've learned about Jacob by reading his story in the Torah, it is learned that he is someone who strives, struggles, and manipulates to get what he wants. Jacob seems to be the kind of guy who looks out for number one that is, himself. He was able to convince his brother, Esau, to trade his birthright for a bowl of stew, and he even deceived his father into giving Esau his blessing. This led to Esau threatening to kill Jacob. Thus, Jacob had no choice but to leave home and escape to his uncle Laban's. This brings us to Jacob's dream. On his way to Laban's, he settled at a place that would soon be called Bethel. He found a rock to lean against and fell asleep. As Jacob began to dream, he saw a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached heaven, and behold, the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. Then, above the ladder, the God of the universe begins to speak to Jacob. Yahweh promises to fulfill his word despite the trials that Jacob is facing. He promises that Jacob and his children will indeed inherit the land that God promised Abraham. Yahweh then concludes this encounter with a personal blessing to Jacob. Genesis 28. Behold, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go, and will bring you back into this land. For I will not leave you until I have done what I promised you. What's amazing about this blessing is that Jacob didn't have to strive for it. He didn't steal it or manipulate someone else to get it. Despite all the shady things Jacob had done in his life, God met him where he was and gave him the promise of his love, the one thing in this world that cannot be taken, stolen, or strived for on our own. Indeed, God brought the ladder to Jacob and met him where he was. In the New Testament, Yeshua the Messiah expounds on this powerful dream given to Jacob. John chapter 1. And he said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Yeshua the Messiah, the Son of Man, is our ladder to God. There's nothing you can do to buy this ladder. It cannot be traded or obtained through manipulation. Even if you work 14 years like Jacob did for Laban, you cannot earn this ladder. God's love, fully manifested in His Son, is a gift that we can either choose to receive or turn down. The significance of a free gift is that it gives the receiver of the gift no opportunity for boasting in his own talent or strength. As Paul says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not of your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. We all need to hear that and be reminded. God's love is available to you right now. All you have to do is open up your heart and receive it. Thank you for joining us for another PowerShop Point. We hope that you've been blessed by this teaching. And remember, continue to test everything. Shalom. It is because of you, our generous supporters, who make it possible to offer these high-quality teachings completely free of charge. If you feel led to support 119 Ministries so that we can continue this effort, please visit testeverything.net and click on the Support 119 tab. Learn how you can partner with us to take the whole Word of God to the nations.